Hmm, so how does iron rust? We can take a look underneath the microscope to find out more. The rusting of iron is an oxidation reduction reaction. Here we can see the iron being exposed to a water droplet containing dissolved oxygen. This exposure causes each iron atom underneath the water droplet to give up two electrons to become iron 2 ions. This process is known as oxidation. Next, electrons are released and flow throughout the droplet where the oxygen dissolved in water receives electrons to form a hydroxide ion. This is the reduction process. Next, iron 2 ions combine with hydroxide ions to form iron 2 hydroxide. Finally, iron 2 hydroxide reacts with water and oxygen to form iron 3 hydroxide, which is also known as rust. Now that we know how iron rusts, what can we do to prevent it? The first method is to coat the surface with grease, paint, or a water repellent layer. Here we can see water being repelled by the coat of water repellent paint. The next method of prevention is called galvanization. If we take a look at a reactivity table, we can see that zinc is more reactive than iron. This means that when zinc is exposed to oxygen and moisture, it will corrode faster than iron. Here we have iron with a sacrificial layer of zinc. When zinc is exposed to a water droplet, it reacts with the hydrogen and oxygen atoms to form zinc 2 hydroxide. Galvanization is most often used on ships. This is because the formed zinc oxide layer can be removed and the freshly exposed zinc can corrode once again thereby further protecting the iron hull.